Okay, hello everyone. So this is, I guess, our third uh, reinforcement learning uh, reading club session. And in this session, Tuan Dam is going to present one of the papers from NeurIPS 2021. Uh, Tuan is a PhD uh, student at uh, uh, TU Darmstadt in Germany. And yeah, so you can, you can begin, Tuan. Okay, so hi everybody. Thanks for your attending uh, today to listen to my talk about a paper titled Twice Regular Line MDP and the Equivalent Between Robustness and Regularization. Um, the paper will be up here in the New York NIP uh, 2021. Um, so actually we know that the robot uh, Markov decision process aim to handle changing and partial known uh, system dynamic. And to solve them, normally people will try to apply robot optimization method, but this will come at like uh, 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 they will come at like uh, uh, computational complexity and scalability, scalability limitation. And we already already know that um, in MDP people can regularize using convex regularization. And uh, a paper from the same author Matthew Gis, so the stability in the policy learning without impairing time complexity, but also can encompass uncertainty in the model dynamic. So the research question proposed is: Can we learn the robot MDP using regularization? Okay, so first I would like to review some primarily really definition. So what is a discount MDP and the linear programming formulation of the discount MDP? So uh, let's give an infinite horizon MDP with a set of state S, a set of X and A, uh, the initial state distribution mu zero, the discount gamma, the probability of transition P and the reward uh, function R, um the um we can evaluate the policy pi by calculating the expectation of the discount the reward starting from the time t equal to zero um using this equation one which is actually the um uh, dot product of the value v given the policy pi with the starting uh mu zero and some re, uh, corresponding definition of the Bellman operator um, in the linear uh, programming form with the G here is a greedy policy. So um, actually from uh, this uh, definition of the discount MDP, uh, we can actually formulate uh, as like linear programming. So even the policy pi we can characterize the performance of this uh, equation one by the following V uh, linear programming so that we minimize the dot product of V uh, with the mu zero subject to this um, constraint. And we call it the P over the pi, P of pi. And the next section, so I will come back later to this one and why we have to mention about this near programming formulation later. But in the next section, I would like to uh, mention about what is, uh, well, so when we talk about uh, regularization MDP, we uh, have a like a zero framework for that using the less than draft and chan chan form. So what is a less than draft and chan chan form? Uh, let's uh, define omega, which is a, a strongly convex function the less than f and chan transform or convex conjugate of omega is omega star and defined by uh, this, which is a maximum of the Bellman equation uh, minus with the regular line term here, tau uh, is um, regular line parameter. And actually we can see that the regular line MDP actually are uh, MDP with the modified reward where the modified reward is defined by the original reward R given the pi minus with the uh, convex uh, function omega of uh, the convex function of uh, pi here. So, so yeah, so actually, for example, if you regularize the uh, Bellman equation, you regularize the equation number one here. And actually, because uh, the regularized uh, MDP can be considered like the original MDP with the modified reward function, 
you can also think about like uh, you can formulate a linear programming equation for the real line MDP uh, using just change uh, this uh, constraint by replace the original R uh, reward here with the new reward that's subject to the object uh, to the uh, convex regular line function. And so in the, this paper, we talk about uh, how to regularize robot MDP. So this is the definition of robot MDP. So actually robot MDP is um, um, like uh, given the robot MDP and with the like same definition with MDP as a mu zero uh, omega, but the difference is uh, U here where, okay, you don't know, like you have uncertainty about the model, you don't know the transition model and you don't know, you only have like uncertainty about the transition model and the reward model. Um, and so the objective of uh, robot MVP is that, uh, okay, what is the worth K of the model? You can estimate, you can, can you get like the optimal policy so that it kind of like, uh, okay, first you, um, the, the Bellman operator of the robot MDP is defined by the minimum minima of uh, the original Bellman MDP that you consider the word K of the estimated model um, and also the maximum. So the maximum uh, value is defined by this. So given that word K, you can estimate the optimal policy pi here. So actually this is uh, also the uh, ensure the, the alpha contraction and um, so the corresponding definition of the robot Q function is defined by this. And um, so actually robot MDP is in this setting optimal solution that uh, maximize the performance measure under the word K parameter. We can think about this like dynamic zero game, zero sum game where an agent try to find the bad action. Why the model that are uncertain or uh, or the nature try to impose it like the, the worst case where you can try, you try to find the best action. So it's kind of like solving the robot MDP involving mini mark, mean, mark, mean problem can be like very uh, competitional, challenging and, and, cha and it limit the scalability. So uh, in the first uh, section of the paper, the author try to, okay, narrow the problem into, okay, what about if we uh, don't know about the reward? So the reward, the reward is uncertain, but we know the transition. So can we kind of like show the robot MVP with that setting using regularization instead of normal approach where people open your robot optimization? Okay, so uh, the author come up with the first proportional pro pro proposition um, results uh, where actually for any uh, robot value function, uh, we can like formulate it like an, an optimal solution of the following like uh, robot optimization problem where, okay, you have this uh, normal uh, maximize uh, objective, but did you have this constraint? And mm, the other proof that uh, for the reward robot MDP, uh, so this is assumption where, okay, you know the model uh, P0 of the transition, but the reward, um, you don't know the reward, but you assume that the reward is kind of like uh, concentrate around the reward R0 with some uncertainty R here. So that uh, the policy, which uh, for any policy pi, the robot value function V pi mu, U here is an optimal solution of the following convex optimization problem which is very nice because you see, this is uh, the same form that we have in the regular MDP. So actually you can see, consider this, um, um, this term here is actually the regular uh, term for, for the normal regular MDP. But in this case, you prove for the reward reboot MDP. And actually if you do like policy iteration using this optimization problem on this setting, uh, reward robot MVP, you can ensure the same conversion rate at the regular MVP. Okay, so. Um, so, uh, so, sorry, just so I understand the notation. What is sigma here? It's some kind of measure of how uncertain you are in a, for, in a, for a given reward. Yes, like, yes. 
Okay. It's kind of like how like uncertain you can uh, you are sure about the reward. Mm -hmm. um, and I think, uh, yeah. So, <clears throat> so I mean, so yeah, the React question is really good question because in the next uh, section, React, the, the answer, okay, kind of like, uh, what about if the reward uncertainty lie inside like a, an, um, like a, a set where, okay, we have like uh, the reward lie inside this uh, circle with the, this is the dimension of the circle, then, uh, then we can, okay, kind of like uh, solve the robot value function V here with the optimal solution of the following uh, objective function where the constraint here is, uh, this is the, the ball, the ball that we draw around the uncertainty of the reward and, and the, the P, pi here is a policy. And, and actually, I mean, um, yeah, we can, uh, I think I think this this uh, negative salon entropy, this KL diversion and negative salon entropy here, is like okay only introduction of uh, different kind of like delta of uh, the sigma function, with some very well known um, entropy regularization uh, function we can apply. Uh, yeah, but um, so starting from that results, the other kind of like uh, propose another like bigger picture where, okay, let's say uh, for any robot MDP with both uncertainty about the reward and also uncertainty about the transition, uh, can we solve this uh, like um, robot MDP using like regularization instead of like normal approach where people use robot optimization? And uh, yeah, so result is yet we can do that. So, okay, let, let's zoom the uncertainty mu here defined by this, where we have the uncertainty about the model, like concentrate around P0 with some un uncertainty P here and the uh, uncertainty reward, uh, like uh, concentrate around uncertainty uh, reward R0, but with um, some, some uncertainty R here. Then for any policy pi, the robot value function V pi mu is the optimal solution of the following uh, convex optimization problem. Uh, so it's, it's actually not only the regularization term here, it's not only contained about the policy pi, but also some uh, with, with some like uh, value V here also. Uh, and with the definition of V, uh, multiple pi is defined by, by this. Well, it's actually very nice. So, um, so okay, let's let's say if uh, we have the ball around the, the uncertainty of the transition, and we have the ball around the uncertainty of the reward, then we have this like um, optimization problem for any general robot MDP. Um, yeah, I think this result is is nice. That okay, now we can actually solve any like general robot MDP using uh, like uh, reg regularized MDP technique, for example, you can do policy iteration. Um, and so due to the result from the general robot MDP, uh, the author tried to kind of like propose a uh, set of the art algorithm. They call it R2 MDP, where we can we regular MDP, uh, Bellman using uh, like uh, um, to solve the robot uh, MDP where um, can you ensure the conversion? Can you also like have a same like um, complexity and, and as um, to solve the robot MDP, the same as the regular MDP. And uh, so um, the other defy the, um, the R2 um, regularized uh, Bellman operator uh, defined by this, which uh, is this regular term is uh, depend on the policy and also not only the policy, but depend on the, uh, the value. So it dependent on the value also. And uh, due to the definition, I think this is kind of like due to from the, the result from the, the last uh, colon, uh, corollary where you assume a reward and the, the transition lie inside the ball with the diameter alpha here, alpha R and alpha P here, you have this optimization problem number three here. So the other from that call 
Norio proposed this um, optimization omega here, uh, regularization function omega here. And so the respective uh, Bellman evaluation and optimality operator is defined by this, the inline normal regular MDP. And so the optimal policy is defined by this, defined by this. And, and so for that, um, uh, the other like uh, prove that, uh, so for any conversion MDP, you have to ensure that uh, three um, property. First is uh, monotonicity. Second is uh, sub distributionability, ability, and, and third, very important, is contraction. And the other proof that okay with that definition of the of the R two MDP, we can ensure that these three properties the same as the, any convex regularized MDP. And the difference only here is that um, the contraction term is omega star which is the minimum of over all the S with omega, uh, with the epsilon, the epsilon star is a minimum of, of all the S in the, um, in the set S with the epsilon S here, um, which is different with the normal one, which is, I remember, is not uh, epsilon, but it's, uh, it's uh, the discount factor. Um, and okay, so from that, the other uh, so uh, what is epsilon s is it some kind of error that you make or yeah i think it's defined? i think it's some kind of error but uh, yeah well sorry yeah it, it's some kind of error um i think we we miss an assumption here where uh, in order for, for it, uh, the other proposed an assumption, uh, the assumption about the um, the error, I think, of the of the reward and the error of the uh, mm. transition. Okay. And the ball, the ball, uh, the radius of the ball that draw around the transition kind of like uh, uh, the term is uh, related to this epsilon error. Mm. Yeah, so that makes sense. Yeah, uh, yeah, but I don't really come into detail of this assumption. I think people can read this in the paper, in the page number seven. So sorry. Uh, but how yeah. realistic is this assumption? Because I mean, so this this assumes that you already from the beginning you cover very well your state and action space. Otherwise. Like if, you, for instance, you never visit the state, then you can have a very high error. Yeah, because it's the mean over all the states. So yeah, exactly. So if you are looking at that uh, assumption, you see that this is mean of all the, the the state. That we can okay ensure that with all the state, you have kind of like the 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 bound radius. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I mean, like, it's it's like um, um, you cannot like okay if uh, any state that uh, the ball radius is very big, so you cannot ensure mm -hmm. the contraction property, right? Like uh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So so from that, the other purple the. Uh, the R to optimal policy, um, um, the R to optimal, like um, I think this is policy iteration uh, algorithm, like um, and uh, the result from this is uh, due to the the three property here, you ensure the conversion to the optimal policy, um, and the that ensure the same conversion rate at the standard and the reward MDP. Uh, and it actually helped to reduce the computational complexity of the robot MVP. Actually, here we don't have to do the mini mac mean problem at each iteration, but the only like optimization we want to do here is the greedy, uh, the greedy read policy. Uh, yeah, that is the only optimization we have instead of mean mac problem in each iteration for the robot MVP. Um, and actually, the other. Uh, compare in very simple 
uh, grid world, uh, grid world setup with the robot MDP setup where they are to compare the time complexity only with the value now and um, say, okay, this uh, algorithm ensure very, very fast conversion. Yeah, so okay, in the paper, people, uh, the author saw that uh, actually regular MVP, uh, a particular instance of the robot MVP with the uncertain reward. So when you have a certain reward, you have a regular MVP, but actually a robot MVP can also be framed at uncertainty reward or optimization. And um, the author, Estimate uh, established the policy iteration on the reward reboot MVP um, that share the same complexity as the regular MVP. Um, the author extend this relationship to the MVP with uncertainty uh, transition also, and propose R2 MVP that uh, contain both value and policy regularization and provide conversion and robustness guarantee. And it helped uh, reduce the planning and the learning in the robot MVP to regular MVP. Uh, yeah, that is the main idea and the main result of the paper. Thanks for your attention. And I'll open to question. Thank you very much, Tuan. Uh, so uh, are there any questions from the audience? Uh, actually, at one of the beginning of slides, you had this uh, minimization problem for the dot product uh, of the reward and the, the distribution. Uh, is that right? Or, or uh, yeah. So, so what does it mean? Because uh, uh, shouldn't we like maximize this for the for the reinforcement learning? I think um, I think it's like uh, you can read the the following paper that they cite. I mean, so so equation one is a normal like Bellman equation you want to optimize, right? Um, and um, actually, you can frame the optimization problem one into this uh, this uh, LP optimization, where of course you want to optimize, uh, you want to minimize this. I think um, so. This p pi and this one actually are equivalent. They are equivalent. If you optimize one, you can optimize p pi also instead of uh, optimize the equation one. Okay, I see. In detail, you can read the the, the side paper. Yeah. yeah. And. Yeah, I think um, the paper is actually about yeah regular robot MDP where you have like uncertain about the changes and uncertain about the reward. And previously, I think there are approach about the regularized apply to the robot. No, in robustness optimization in uh, SVM or in other machine learning technique, but not in IL setting. And um, uh, the normally, like um, the robot MDP problem, in order to solve it, you have to solve like mean mac, mac mean problem, which is very like computational expensive, um, because in, in each iteration you have to find the minimum possible the error of the uncertain of the model on the reward, and then you maximize you find the optimal action to maximize that. And um, so the author try to avoid this uh, problem by uh, introduce the regularized uh, function and and actually that regular function is uh, the, actually kind of like uncertainty about the reward and uncertainty about the model. So that is uncertainty about the value and then um, uh, propose kind of uh, uh, with some assumption about the the bounded. Uh, Error about the, the the error about the uncertainty of the model. The other uh, propose uh, policy iteration method uh, with the regular introduced term where we um, can ensure the conversion to uh, optimal policy and 
um, the same rate as uh, normal regular MDP and uh, um, avoid the max mean uh, problem in each iteration of the reward MDP and um, the only, yeah. So that is the main idea of the paper. So what are, as well, I don't know if you know, but like what could be other alternatives in the literature? Because for instance, like, um, so I don't know much, like I don't know very well the theory and like theoretical reinforcement approaches, but um, typically you have, uh, you want to do some concentration inequality on the Q function, and then you try to have an upper bound of the Q function and then ensure that uh, you pick the action according to this upper bound. And uh, I don't know if there are also uh, approaches that uh, try to compute maybe the lower bounds to be robust. Uh, and that could be maybe another way of doing this uh, robust MDPs instead of having uh, separate uh, worst case for transition and reward, or is this actually similar and it's just computing some kind of lower bound on the Q function? Uh, uh, but. Yeah, I think. Uh, um, yeah, I think I I uh, I understand the question very well. Yeah, actually, um, I don't really like. Uh, study in depth about this approach about this problem um, but in the paper the author say that uh, actually we uh, apart from the, the the approach that you propose um, because this is max mean problem the author proposed to, to right. kind of using robot optimization method for um, to optimize to find the policy optimal policy in this setting um, um, yeah, I don't know if we can kind of like have a upper bound, low bound for the Q value, and then yeah, we actually can just uh, optimize that. Um, yeah, I think uh, uh, and uh, like so, uh, I don't know how how much you looked into the technical details so, but uh, how easy it is to go from the like the regularizers to actually have the to prove the thing uh, so is it was was is was it is there like a was it a simple path to go from i don't know shannon entropy constraints to actually ensuring that it's it's solving the same thing as the robust thing, or was it a long, uh, long proof? Yeah. Um, wait, I think uh, actually I haven't read the proof, uh, but I don't think that the proof is very difficult. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, yeah, one of the most interesting is we can look at the proof. Um, so, no, so, so, okay. So, so what I don't understand is that, so you seem to need both the regularization and like some kind of constraint about the support that the error is not too big. Um, it seems that, uh, so it seems that like this assumption that the error is not too big is maybe doing most of the work. And uh, uh, so like it's not, it's impossible to just do uh, regularization um without this assumption i guess and uh... yeah i think because uh, the thing is we 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 see in this one okay um so the proposition the proposition uh three or one i think is very important where you see that actually they can frame they can frame the robot uh, mdp into this uh, p uh, u where it's have the same form of the like uh, you see it is the same form with um, with this uh, p pi right. the programming of the p pi where we want to optimize the normal bellman equation one here so this one and and you see that um, um, this this is the same form right but uh, the, the 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 only difference is that the p uh, the the transition and the reward here is like not fixed it could be could be any 
transition and can he reward inside this set um and but already so like just for this case uh for theorem 3.1 they already uh, need the assumption that also the error is uh yeah, uniformly yeah. bounded okay yes, yes. so yeah. i think um it it had to be kind of like uh, even it uncertainty but should be uncertainty around set or around center like r0 mm -hmm. so you okay you, I, I i allow you to be uncertainty but i can up about it okay, okay. kind of about radius mm -hmm. uh, yeah so that is the thing i think because then if you cannot ensure about the uncertainty or it could be go anywhere and somehow you cannot optimize I see, I see, yeah, sure. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, but that is neat paper, right? Cool. Okay. I mean, yeah. Cool. Okay, so are there any more questions? Okay, so thank you, uh, Tuan, for the for the nice presentation. And uh, yeah, I, I, uh, yeah, would like to thank for your attention and uh, because uh, yeah, I, I try to kind of like uh, present and the main result and the main message of the paper, um, so that people can understand what is uh, like the result and the message from the paper. For the detail, like uh, all the detail, you can refer to read the paper. And I hope that um, people enjoy the talk today. That uh, okay after the talk, people get some main idea about the paper and understand the work, like uh, in a high level. And and yeah, I hope uh, in the next uh, meeting we can have a more like uh, reading or more presentation. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Thanks so, a lot, Great talk. Yeah, so, so uh, and we will upload this video on our YouTube channel uh, for the Auto uh, Robot Learning Lab uh, YouTube channel. So uh, thank you very much and uh, have a nice weekend. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.